You could still be happy with a few hundred quid in the bank instead of tapping safely. Now look. The one thing you've got to get into that little head of your own girl is that nobody don't help you in this life. You've got to help yourself. Why, if you'd only fiddled five bob a day, you'd have 200 nicker on one side by now. Well, money isn't everything, Alfie. Yeah, it's only people who ain't got none talk like that. I've always had a fiddle on every job I've done because a fiddle gives you an interest in your work. And I believe that everybody should take an interest in their work. So now a little job done. Yeah. You sound cheerful, Elkins. Yeah, some mornings I feel quite chirpy. Yeah, but not all that chirpy on what I'm paying you. You must be working a nice little fiddle. That's defamation of character. I report you to the union. Oh, come off it. How do you think I got where I am? I'm quite satisfied as long as you do the job well. But don't get greedy. Otherwise, you'll kill the goose. I tumbled at once. I should never have whistled. Never be cheerful on a job if you're doing a fiddle. Now, you're getting careless these days, Alf. You say that again. How do you mean? Little Gilda. She's pregnant. No. How long? A couple of months. Oh. You ain't thinking of getting married to her, are you? What, me and my state of health? Sorry, full up. Room for just one more inside. Oh, Humphrey, I'm glad it's your bus. Are you? I haven't seen you for so long. Well, you don't need flinging downstairs to know you're not welcome. I'm sorry. That's all right. I missed our little chats. Have you? Oh. Two sixpennies when you've got the time. So. I've never seen you looking lovelier. Still can't get you out of my mind. As, um, as help you these days. He's fine. Fine. Mind you, it, it doesn't hurt like it used to. What doesn't? Well, you know, the old heartache. Still, I wouldn't be without it. You haven't got engaged or anything like that, have you? No, nothing like that. He doesn't rush into things, Alfie. I don't expect you'll ever be needing me, but if you do, I'll, I'll always be there. Bye, Gilda. God bless. Any reports from the front? No. It doesn't look like it. We've definitely got to do something about this little lot. I've tried everything, Alfie. You mean you've been taking stuff on the quiet? You don't want to make yourself ill, you know. Alfie. You're not getting cooey lately. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not only cooey, in a way, you're more bossified. It's as though I've got to take notice of you instead of you and me. I don't know how to describe it, but I can feel it. Do you love me? Uh, uh, what can I say when you ask? You shouldn't ask, you know. I'll tell you when I feel like it. I'll go make the coffee. Yeah. Make it strong. Alfie, I was thinking. Why can't we go through with it? Blimey, what an horrible thought. 
I've never been through with anything in all my life. I mean, if I was to marry you, girl, you might gain husband, but you'd lose a bleeding good friend. You don't have to marry me, Alfie. I've got it worked out. I don't care what you've got worked out. You've got to think twice before you turn an innocent little creature out into this world. I wouldn't turn him out. I'll have him adopted. Adopted? What are you talking about, adopted? Well, by a rich woman, see? A rich woman? I'd like to do that much for him. I'd be certain he'd have a good life then. Steady on, girl. I mean, you can't be sure there's something there yet, can you? This morning, I thought I felt him kick. Kick? How the hell can they kick? It won't be the size of my thumbnail. I'll tell you next time. You'll do nothing of the sort. You don't want to give way to your impulses like that. Because something a woman might think natural, like as not a bloke, will find a bit sickening. Mrs. Artoni at the cafe used to call her husband every time their baby moved. What you don't realise is that men are more sensitive than women. Remember that big bird I used to dance with at the Locarno? One Sunday night, she showed me her operation scar, what she had made when she was a kid. A long scar it was, with all white skin round it. You know what? I got straight out of bed, I did, and put me clubber on. What's up with you, she says. I'd sooner go out and see a bleeding horror film, I says, than a thing like that. Alfie, please. Please. Can I... You know, go through with it and have the baby? What are you asking me for? It's yours, isn't it? Nobody in this world has any right to stop you doing what you want to do. <laughs> Steady on, girl. Now then, now then. Don't break your bleeding heart. If you want to do something and you think it's right, you do it. To hell with them. Mommy sure. Now. You know what? She was quite happy them months she was carrying, which to my mind was a bit out of place in a way. Her not being married, see? Mind you, she came over quite beautified for a time, especially in the early months. And I told her, I says, blimey girl, you ain't as ugly as I thought. Anyway, a time comes and into the hospital she goes to have it. I wasn't there, so I didn't know till they told me. Then, from all accounts, the kid comes out a treat. Right bang on the minute, you might say. Alfie? I didn't see you there. You look all different. What do you mean? Oh, sort of mumsy. Um, I, I put my name down as Mrs. Elkins. W was that all right? Of course it's all right. Put your name down as who you like. It's a free country, isn't it? Brought you some flowers. Well, I didn't want to be seen carrying them. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Regis, how delightful. I put them into a vase for you, Mrs. Elkins. Well, what do you think of your little son, Mr. Elkins? My what? He hasn't seen him yet. Oh, here he is. He's the image of his father. Yeah. I can see more of me in him than you. What are you going to call him? I thought Malcolm Alfred. Malcolm Bleeding Alfred? He'll never forgive you, you give him a name like that. Yeah, he's moving. Quick, you better take him. Now, the mistake I made with Gilda was getting involved. I was having a beautiful little life, and I couldn't see it. There was this manageress of a dry cleaner. <laughs> and I was getting a suit clean in the bargain. Well, you can't turn something like that down. Then, there was this up with this woman from a foot comfort service I was having it off with. She used to cut me corns handsome, she did. Blimey, I never had me feet in such lovely condition. I was hopping about like a little fairy. 